Have you ever been out in the Australian bush and picked up one of these little hitchhikers? Welcome to Fun Fact Friday. Let's talk ticks, because on the south coast, where I've just moved to, they're not just common, they're everywhere. But not all ticks are trouble. The main culprit, the paralysis tick, found all along the east coast, from Queensland to Victoria. Now, you may have heard some horror stories of illnesses related to tick bites. People becoming locked in, paralysis, or having fevers for weeks. Here's the rundown on all things tick-related without the fear-mongering. There's lots of different ticks, and most tick bites don't cause a problem. You'll flick them off, and they may cause a little bit of irritation or itching. The larger paralysis tick is more likely to cause some issues. It can be harder to remove, and you're encouraged to use a cream or spray to kill it first before removing. They may cause an allergic reaction with itching and swelling, and in some cases, a widespread rash. Much rarer, we get a full-blown anaphylaxis. This is a severe allergic reaction with low blood pressure and airway obstruction. If you're concerned about anaphylaxis, call triple zero right away. All ticks, just like all insect bites, can cause infection, either from the bacteria they're carrying or by introducing bacteria that naturally lives on our skin, causing something called cellulitis. Now, in more severe cases, this can lead to sepsis. Then there's the rare illnesses. These are infections too, but from the peculiar bacteria that ticks can transmit. You may have actually heard of some of these. We have rickettsial diseases, including Queensland tick typhus, Australia spotted fever, and Flinders Island spotted fever. There's Q fever, where ticks transmit a bacteria from livestock. And then there's Lyme disease, due to the bacteria that I can't pronounce, Borrelia something. You've heard of Lyme disease? Well, interestingly, there's been no confirmed cases of Lyme disease in Australia. Instead, there are illnesses that we label Lyme-like illnesses, and some of them are actually the ones that I've named before. Now, because of the variable and complex nature of tick bite illnesses, they've actually named a condition that will make it better to identify and treat. The catchy name, debilitating symptom complexes attributed to ticks. We're almost there. You thought I forgot about paralysis. The paralysis tick. Progressive paralysis can occur when a tick remains latched on and is slowly injecting its neurotoxin. Don't worry, this doesn't happen immediately. It happens over days, weeks, or even months. And then I've saved the best or worst till last, meat allergy, also known as mammalian meat allergy or alpha-gal syndrome. Due to the cross-sensitivity between the alpha-gal molecule found in tick bite saliva, but also in red meats, if we're bitten by a tick bite, our body can create an immune reaction, which then means when we later eat meat, we get an allergic reaction. There you have it. Those are all the weird and wonderful illnesses associated with tick bites from not including Lyme disease and finally mammalian meat allergy. Whew, it's a lot. Now you may not see me again, so if you're interested in health facts or medical stories, make sure to click follow. Bye.